We've all eaten delicious meals in restaurants and wondered, why don't my home-cooked meals taste like that? They don't taste the same because we don't know what chefs know until now. Niagara's best chefs are gonna show me how to make their most popular dishes in a typical home kitchen, just in time for a dinner party with the neighbors. My name is John Vettier, and we're here at Brush Fire Smoke at Niagara Oast House Brewers. Oast House is a microbrewery in Niagara on the Lake. The brewery has been around since 2012 with a focus on farmhouse sales. That's definitely our specialty. The food program, Brush Fire, is brand new. Our focus is on American barbecue uh, with a heavy Asian influence. We do focus on the American barbecue style, but the combinations of flavors uh, and ingredients, specifically pickles and fresh herbs and some of the condiments we use is, is kind of unorthodox in terms of barbecue. So lots of freshness, lots of herbs, uh, lots of acidity that you would normally find. What we try to do is, is we want that, that backcountry vibe. That's exactly what we're going for here. We like to have that energy as well as that laid back vibe. Hey John, thanks a lot for coming. Thanks, pleasure to be here. Awesome, awesome. What are we making today? So today we're going to be making Szechuan hot chicken. It's take on a classic dish from Nashville uh, with a lot of uh, Asian influence to it. So southern style chicken dish, yeah. but made with an Asian influence. And let me ask you an important question. What would you drink while you're making this? Oh, beer for sure. Beer for sure. Yeah, oh, that sounds yeah I brought right. some from the restaurant. So. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, great. Go grab it. What, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do we have? Uh, it's American Pale Ale. So. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Let's go here. Wonderful. Yeah, definitely. That's for me. That is for awesome. you. Actually, I don't need this. <laughs> I'll do the glass, uh, and I won't do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, man. Yeah. Thanks for bringing this. No worries. Oh yeah. So first off, uh, we're gonna start preparing the pickle for the dish. So it's okay. gonna be uh, some radishes, some shallots, and I'm gonna have you start working on those guys. Cut them in half, peel them. We're gonna slice them thin, Okay. and I'm gonna get the pickle on. I like to use a rice wine vinegar. It's uh, that Asian flavor, so uh, it accents a lot of the vegetables that we're pickling. So just we're gonna get this guy on here, fire it up, and uh, we're gonna want that to come to a boil. And I'm okay. gonna add some sugar and a little bit of salt in there just to balance that sharpness of the vinegar. I always thought that to pickle something, it took a long time to do it. Like you'd have to like you know, right, make right. the brine, put pickle, whatever you're pickling in it and store it for a long time. Is that not? Is no, that not you, can, you can do some, uh, like there's, there's another type of pickle called quick pickling. You take a little salt and vinegar and put it right on the vegetables. Basically 10 minutes later it's done. So I'm gonna go on these radishes. Yeah. Let's get this going. Yeah, cause I'm. So, uh, yeah. Gonna, a little slow, I think. I'm gonna chop at my speed and you chop at your speed, so. <laughs> That's very kind of you. <laughs> Safety first. Oh, you got the speed there, what are you talking about? Yeah, well, I'm getting little bits of my finger in it. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pour this uh, hot pickling liquid over top of our uh, shallots and radishes there. Great. Uh, we wanna make sure it's at a boil. It might All be right. a little hot on the edges there. Uh, Ow, yeah, yeah. yeah sure go. is. Yeah. <laughs> Fire right over top. Yeah, awesome. Just to submerge it. Perfect. That's perfect. All right. I'm just gonna use a little spoon here just to move it around. And then what I like to do now, actually with all my pickles, I like to add just a little bit of oil to it. And for this, we're gonna add sesame oil. Sesame oil? Um, I like to add it in after, just because I find the heat of the pickle sometimes destroys the oil and you lose that flavor. Okay. Um, and it just adds a really nice mouthfeel to the uh, to the vegetables. So. Just give it a little drizzle over top. Move it around. That's it. Let it sit. That's it. That's your that's your pickle. That's my pickle. Done. Done. Wow. Now we're gonna let it sit down, let it cool to room temp, and then you can package this. Or if you really wanted to, you put it in a jar. Okay. And seal it up, and then you got pickles for, for a while. What should we do so, while it cools? Miso aioli. Put the miso in first. A little miso trick. in first. And miso, obviously fermented uh, soybean. Um, just has this crazy umami flavor, lots of saltiness, which is gonna go great with our fried chicken. So then, wonderful Chinese black vinegar. Maybe two tablespoons, I'd say. Okay. So just whisk that in. And uh, just till it kind of smoothens out. Yeah, that's perfect. See how smooth it is now? So now we'll add oh, our mayo right in there. You can always add more if it, we find it's too thin. Yeah. It's getting a great color as well. Yeah, exactly. So and I bet that saltiness from the miso is probably uh, Probably gonna add a lot to the to the flavor. For profile, sure, right? for sure. And like the miso and the black vinegar, it just has that kind of funkiness. And 
Oh yeah, that's what exactly what we want. Because we're having fried chicken, so you want something to cut through that that uh, that fattiness, the fried chicken. Awesome. Cool. So let's set that aside, and uh, so like that's a, that's our aioli. That's our aioli done. Done. Super easy. So on to the next condiment, ginger scallion. We'll just start cleaning those guys up okay. and slicing them really thin. Brewed off. Yep. Nice and easy. And kind of any of the damaged ends, we can remove that too. Again, like the shallots, we're gonna kinda slice them nice and thin. By slice thin, you meant inconsistent and sometimes thick, right? Yeah, definitely whole pieces with the knife didn't go all the way through. That's, yeah, that's exactly what yeah. we want. This is not what we're going for. No. <laughs> now we're gonna add some ginger to it, some soy, a little bit of oil in there, some apple cider vinegar. <laughs> My yeah. brain is on fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we'll mix this up, and then it gets nice and fresh and punchy. This is another little condiment that's gonna cut through that, uh, that fried chicken, so. Yeah. So that's our ginger scallion. Scallion, ginger yeah. scallion sauce, yeah. So next we're making like this oil infusion in a Szechuan dip. It allows the chicken to get glazed without okay. taking away the crunchiness. I like to use canola. Green onion, a uh, good amount of garlic. <laughs> Ginger, we're just gonna peel the skin off using the back of our knife. It's a great little trick. Yeah, because when some. I do that at home, I typically end up with like a ginger toothpick. We're just kind of simmering it in this oil to kind of coax those flavors out of the vegetables. So we're gonna let that kind of simmer away and just let that infuse. So yeah, now it's, uh, now it's a good time to work on our chicken. Our boneless skin on chicken thighs. thighs. I'm gonna get you to marinate the chicken first. This is sambal, sambal olek. Okay. It's just a chili paste, so you go ahead and that. And then we're gonna dredge these guys and we're gonna season the flour with a whole bunch of stuff. So we got some white pepper, celery salt, ginger powder, dried basil, some dried oregano, fresh thyme, mustard powder, salt, and black pepper. You can see my infusion oil here is actually perfect. Like the color of the scallion released all its flavor. I just turned the heat off on that guy. So I'm gonna put in our, uh, all our spices now, which make it Szechuan. So red and green Szechuan peppercorns. Don't be shy in Szechuan. Cinnamon sticks, Chinese dried chili, and then fermented broad bean and chili paste. That is a lot of chili. Yeah, it's called Szechuan hot chicken for a reason. I so, guess so, um, I guess so. It's gotta be hot. So we're just in making that infusion even stronger now. So just uh, let that chill out, and then we're gonna blend it smooth, as smooth as possible. Got it. And that will be our dunk sauce. Uh, for the uh, the hot chicken. We can dredge our chicken in the meantime. So flour, egg, back into the flour. And then all these like drippy bits that come off the egg is actually great if it lands in the flour because it makes these little granules of crunchy bits. Okay. And when we fry, it's like extra crunch. I'll just pass them to you and then mm -hmm. we can pass them back. This. Just keep doing that. And then I'm gonna actually blend this, uh, this chili oil over here. It's looking good. Sorry if I splash you. No problem. It's only hot oil, right? <laughs> exactly. Doesn't hurt that bad. All right, so we're just gonna fire this guy on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a chef term. Oh yeah. <laughs> now you gotta get more guttural. I'm getting there. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. So let's fry our chicken. So. What? Oh yeah, sorry. Before you know. Yeah. Yeah. Priorities. Yeah, definitely. Now we can fry. Yes. Here we go. Yeah. That's the noise we want. We don't want the oil too high in the pot also because it's gonna expand when we put uh, when we put our chicken in. So if you put the oil right at the top and drop the chicken in, it's just gonna boil over and then we're gonna have a awesome mess to clean up. And maybe some third degree burns. Maybe third degree burns. Right. But so you see colors already developing pretty oh, wow. quickly. That so, goes uh, super fast, eh? Getting that nice golden color. Obviously it's not cooked yet, so this is where we uh, kill some time. Kill some time, yeah. <laughs> That's looking great. You see all those little bits of the spices, even oh, the thyme in there. Beautiful. It smells awesome. And these can kind of rest. And then we'll do our uh, we'll do our Szechuan dunk, and then we can plate everything for our dinner party. Awesome. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's dunk. So hot Szechuan oil. Yep. Get all those spices nicely wow. on that chicken. Glazed. Glazed, as they say. This is kind of how we finish the chicken.
Hey guys. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. see you. How's it going? Good. Yeah, I brought you guys some chicken here for you guys to have, so. <laughs> A beer chicken party. Yeah. It's maybe the best party ever. <laughs> This was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for making this for us. Thanks, My guys. pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet.